investing in handbags better than investing in art and the stock market? Welcome to another short video at Hot and Gam TV fashion news and tutorials. Today's topic of discussion is on investing in designer handbags. And basically, we will be taking an in-depth look at whether or not it is better to invest in certain designer handbags versus art versus the stock market. Now, this video is by no means providing financial advice but it is based it is basically speculative so remember always to do your own research prior to investing um, in a handbag model and the brand as well as because different bag models have different resale growth value over time according to marketresearch.com it found that luxury handbags were considered an expensive gift until a series of crocodile skin Hermes handbags started to break auction records about 10 years ago Today, the market attracts collectors, dealers, and the ultra wealthy in an increasing popular category. Handbag investing is evolving in parallel with the growth of e-commerce and social media. This has created a secondary market for handbags within the concept of a modern marketplace. Evolution of taste in handbags have found to have changed according to region and the number of auction sales transacting online, which is now providing an incentive for new players that are keen to join the marketplace. The report goes on to state that although it was considered a frivolous purchase alongside more traditional areas of collecting, the market continues to grow in importance for its ability to attract a new and younger group of collectors to auction. With many passing freely between luxury and fine art departments of major auction houses such as Christie, Polly Auction, and Acurl, luxury handbags are the tip of the iceberg of a secondary market for luxury, which threatens to redefine the auction landscape. The report contained 10 years worth of data, including total sales, individual prices and indexes on, on key brands, as well as information on the online platform that were used with Q and A's from the leading industry experts and a background on the evolution of the auction market. The website stated that this report was ideally made for auction houses and collectors, as well as wealth managers and anyone wanting a comprehensive overview of this new and exciting marketplace. Now, in this report, the artmarketresearch.com speaks to three leading experts at Christie's Poly Auction and at Curl, as well as collectors to understand what had been and continues to drive the market. These insights are supported by case studies of five handbags with raw sales data, as well as list of auction records for Hermes and Chanel clutches. Now, what did this report find? Findings of the report, the 2020 report by the Art Market Research was mentioned in a Forbes article titled Designer Handbags are now a better investment than art. You can see the link to this article in the description. The article basically stated that in a landscape of stocks, bonds, properties, and more, designer handbags may not seem like the most obvious way to diversify your, your investments, but they're certainly worth taking a look at. It went on further to explain that according to art market research, Com. They now out, outperform arts, classic cars, and rare whiskies in terms of investment potential. Some bags from the likes of Hermes, Chanel, and Louis Vuitton have experienced a valuation spike of an average of 83% in the last 10 years. So that is into context. Coins have increased by 21%, first edition books by 42%, and watches, the assumed king, the assumed king of fashionable investment by just 72%. The article stated that according to the Art Market Research Report, more than 3,500 designer handbags were sold at auction in 2019, raking in a whopping 26.4 million pounds. Once again, the most valuable handbag known to have increased dramatically in value is the crocodile skin Himalayan Birkin by Hermes, which is considered the most collectible handbag in the world. The record breaker, a white gold and diamond hard hardware Birkin, actually fetched 2.8 million Hong Kong dollars, which is roughly 372,600 US dollars back in 2016. In fact, the 10 most expensive Hermes handbags 
ever auctioned have all been crocodile skin Birkins. With that said, the bag's value boosts 93% over the decade. Fall short of the Hermes Kelly's frame for being renamed in honor of Grace Kelly, which has soared by 129% in the last 10 years. Similarly, Chanel flat bags have risen by 132%. The article goes on to further explain that while people invest for different reasons, those with collateral to burn often buy designer handbags for a fairly fast return of investment. This means the more difficult it becomes to get hold of an investment, the more expensive it becomes. As stated in most of my videos, this is due to the limited number of those models that are available worldwide. A number of factors affect the price as well. So usually this is the limited pieces that are available and celebrity also are known to drive up prices as well as patented peers. The more coveted this piece becomes in a handbag collector and investors community. And as the production of these Hermes bags are incredibly limited with years long waiting lists, the waiting list is very long. Uh, collectors are often willing to pay two to three times over the bag's resale price as soon as it hits the resale market. Of course, there are also large proportions of people who are deeply passionate about their handbag collection, which can easily amass into the millions and refuse to sell them once they're in their possession. In layman's term, designer handbag flippers have supply and demand on their side for the foreseeable future. Even in the lockdown famed auction house Christie's last designer handbag sale sold out raising 1.34 million pounds, which is $1.67 million. Naturally, it included a crocodile Himalayan Birkin bag, which sold for over twice its estimation at 125,000 pounds, which is $156,000. The report found that designer handbags outperform arts, classic cars, and rare whiskey too. In investment potential with Hermes, Chanel, and Louis Vuitton pieces having experienced a valuation increase of an average of 83% in the last 10 years. It showed that a Chanel flat bag had increased in value of 132% and Hermes have recorded a value boost of 93% over the decade, provided it is kept in pristine condition. Owning some nice designer handbags could be a clever way to diversify your investment portfolio. Now, it was reported by CNBC that in 2019, handbags were a major one collectible, beating stamps, rare whiskey, among other categories. This report was carried out by wealth researcher Knight Frank, who had said, quote, while the handbag market, which had exploded, at auction and online sales is being driven by a variety of brands, the Hermes Birkin dominates the high end of the market. This report also stated that after handbags, the second best selling collectible investments in 2019 was stamps, which saw a raise by 6%. This also was reported by CNBC in an article titled Designer Handbags, the Hottest Investments for the Rich. Now we've all heard of one of the most expensive handbags ever sold in 2017 by Christie's for 379,261, which is the Himalayan Crocodile Birkin bag um, in an auction. This handbag was considered as the holy grail of handbags because it is crafted by the Nile Crocodile hide and is also treated with a special dye process that turns it a special white that fades to a smoky gray. There is very limited number of Himalayan bags that have been produced according to handbag experts. Now, according to Bernstein research, it stated that there are around 12,000 Birkin bags made in a year total. However, sales are only made to Hermes top clients. The report produced by Knight Frank was the first of its kind to include handbag prices in its ranking of collectible investments. This is because online sales of designer handbags has reached a mass critical level, which enable tracking their value over time. And so they have seen an increase within the 10 year period of 108%. Now designer handbags, and versus gold versus S&P 500 in 2016, it was reported by online marketplace for rare and exclusive designer handbags 
bag hunter that study results in past research comparing the investment potential of Hermes Birkin bags and the S&P 500 and gold over a 35 year period between 1980 and 2015. Note Birkin bags were created in 1980. So found that unlike the S&P 500, the gold markets, the iconic Birkin bags steadily increased in value year on year out. It was found to have never fluctuated downwards since its introduction in 1980 with an average annual increase in value of 4.2% and a value increase of over 500% in the 35 year period analyzed. Now the Birkin bag in the pandemic. The Birkin bag was found to have held its value better than gold during the pandemic while the value of pieces such as Rolex watches was seen to have decreased. The pandemic saw an oversupply of luxury handbags on the resale market. However, the value of some of these models did not decrease as expected at times of economic crisis and oversupply. A financial publication in Hong Kong called the Nikkei reported a 30% increase in transaction in Hermes Birkin in the last two months alone. The increasing purchases are in line with the rise of affluent and successful professional females who are showing more interest in purchasing the Birkin bag, handbag as well as male buyers who perceive their purchases as future investments. Now, with that being said, think, tell me what you think about these reports and thank you very much for watching this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and join me in my online journey and growth. And thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.